and welcome. Now I'm looking forward to talking to you today about information overload. Information overload is a term you may or may not have heard before, but you've probably experienced it firsthand in your life. We are so fortunate because we live in the golden age of information. It's all around us. Without even trying, information can be just at the click of a finger for us. Now, we can be inundated because of this with facts, ideas, opinions, thoughts, discussions, overviews, lists, and all other ways in which information is transmitted. Do you actually know they say the amount of information we're exposed to in a day is equivalent to what people in the 1800s experienced in a year? It's hard to imagine, isn't it? So we take in information in many, many ways, some of them even passively. If you're out walking, there's billboards, there's conversations, there's radio programs, there's television programs. It's all around us, traffic signs. It's constant. We have a natural ability to distort, delete and generalise a lot of this information, which makes a big difference and helps us. But ultimately, we can still become overloaded with information. The human brain can only take in so much before it becomes overloaded, confused, or even a bit paralyzed at times. So this is why we need to take direct and specific steps to clear our mind. How do you feel when you've got a cluttered mind? When we have a cluttered mind, some of our best qualities can actually be suppressed. We can't perform at our best. Uh, we can have friction around us. We may not be enjoying our lives as much and we can have trouble prioritizing if you think about it how do you feel when your environment is cluttered because your mind is exactly the same as your physical environment now some of the comments I've received in workshops that I do and I deliver workshops both on physical clutter and mental clutter but some of the workshops in regards to comments at workshops in regards to what does clutter do to you it's things like you waste time searching for things both in your environment and your mind it takes up space clutter takes up space you lose things you forget things it makes you feel busy you can get distracted and have difficulty focusing unnecessary stress of course it can affect your image you can start to look out of control and you can't prioritize or work effectively when you can't find the tasks that you need to be doing a cluttered mind can make you feel anxious uh, it's difficult to focus and be productive and if our lives are full of clutter literally or figuratively it may be difficult to feel peaceful and happy however there is a reason for this mental clutter and I look forward to talking to you about that next week. In the meantime, you're welcome to access our website for free resources or products at www.lifestylerefocus.com.au Wishing you a happy, productive and restful week ahead.